While most of the graffiti spray painted last week at Stevens Park in Niles has been cleaned up, the playground equipment sat splattered with paint until a good Samaritan stepped in to help. First News reporter Jacob Thompson is live in the newsroom with that story. Yes, Stan, no one wants to take their parent, I mean, no, excuse me, no one wants to take their kid to a park that has been spray painted in subjective images and curse words. But a man who owns his own pressure washing plant took his two-year-old son there and then realized he had to help. Pretty much I told him I, I knew how to help the situation. Jake Davis owns his own pressure washing business. He tells me that when he saw our story about the park vandals, he wanted to volunteer. I know I knew I, I could help, and uh, so I just put a put a call in to see to see what I could do and what steps I needed to take to do that. He tells me after that insurance information was exchanged, he was able to get to work. He describes some of the markings on the park that kids could see, including profanity and inappropriate drawings. The sex education courses for kids, basically throughout uh, through the slides, stuff like that. I mean, it was. It was pretty graphic. Davis tells me he spent about four to five hours to finish the job. After he sprayed it down and cleaned it, you can hardly tell it was there. It looks beautiful. Playground looks beautiful. Jason did a great job, really turned out good, and it was a great gesture for the city of Niles. Davis said his two-year-old son did notice that it was all cleaned up. We came up here today, and he's two, so he's, he's, and he said, thank you, Daddy, all clean. And then he went off and played, yeah. Now the mayor tells me he welcomes people who want to help out the parks. Well, anyone who wants to come in and uh, organize a cleanup with myself and the park director, is, we're, we're, we're open for that. There's still a little bit of graffiti over in the bathrooms of the park and a small building next to it. The mayor tells me they plan on covering it up with some anti-graffiti paint. Now, Valley Communications called me not long after I spoke to the mayor, and they mentioned to me they are putting up a couple more cameras to the ones that are already in that park, and they should be up and ready by the end of the day tomorrow. But for now, live in the newsroom, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.